right, people want to know, what do you do about kids? Well, in house, in, in traditional church, and I want to just by comparison, in traditional church, people walk in the door and then the family is broken up where the ch children go to hear about Jesus from some stranger. And then you all come back together and maybe touch base with, oh, what'd you learn today and this and that, but there's not a family unit. Um, house church, you'll find because it's based out of the family that began with Adam and Eve in the garden and goes through to where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst. You'll find that uh, the children are just part of a larger family. Uh, we're all like a bunch of uncles and aunts and cousins. And we're not of the opinion that just because a baby cries, the Holy Spirit leaves. We, we think God created babies and that he knows uh, that when they cry, there's a reason and that's part of life. And so uh, what often happens though, is you'll find that uh, people at different seasons of life tend to group together. For instance, empty nesters tend to form one house church and young families will form another house church and uh, maybe singles another house church. That's not always the case. Uh, and especially when you first start, you may have a mix of all those multiple generations. And of course, scripture does talk about Paul exhorts the younger women to learn from the older women. He refers to old men, young men. So it's a multi-generational thing. But the, the essence of it is this, get used to children in your midst and the children will get used to being in the midst of people too. What happens is, it, there's no right or wrong answer in how to handle it. Uh, we've had one house church where one of the moms felt led to uh, follow a curriculum and she invited the kids to a side room and she ministered to the kids for 20 to 40 minutes uh, while house church was going on. Uh, and the kids came back in during, you know, while we were still, adults were still discussing things and they just play on the floor or, or draw or color or something like that, play with games uh, in the midst of it. And it's, sometimes it's, you know how sometimes you talk to kids and, you, and they're busy doing something and you're talking to them and you think, oh, they don't get it, but they're actually listening. It's kind of like that when the children are around the adults and they see that faith and the, the community element of it, the family element of it, and then you all have maybe some food afterwards or something. Uh, they, they, they absorb all of that. Sometimes it's, it's not what's taught, but rather what's caught. And children being in the midst of, of the whole mix of a larger and extended family uh, catch a lot more. And so uh, you find this transition that happens that the children just become a part of the body of Christ in the living room. And uh, there are some adjustments sometimes, but it's really rich and really rewarding and uh, quite a blessing.